Well, well, it is day 50 now of the countdown to Shadow of War, and this is Hero887, your host, welcoming you to it, you awesome subscribers out there. Well, if you're not a subscriber, continue to be one, if you are already one, and if you aren't, consider subscribing, because I'm going to be bringing you awesome content of Shadow of War every single day until the game is released, my matey, so consider it, and watch the playlist below if you haven't already done so now I'm gonna transition to my normal voice once again just have so much fun with that I can't help it as I promised from the previous episode we're gonna be talking about yet another predator skill branch you just ha I have to use the voice whenever there's an R as a rolling R it just goes so well so there is another unlock called the deadly specter and the deadly specter is something that we've never seen before in shadow of Mordor um, however, what is similar is how Italian can lure enemies. It's, it's, that's about where the similarities end, okay? So I know I said it'd be completely different, but it does use the game mechanic of luring enemies. And then that's where similarities end, as I mentioned. So basically what happens is you have Italian sneak up, lure an enemy. Remember, you could hit Y on the Xbox or triangle on the, on the whatever else, you know, the PlayStation, and it lures up an enemy. At that point, you can lure them and then assassinate them silently as a stealth move. Well, you can do again this in Shadow of War, of course. This is always going to be there, and it's always going to be awesome, but this time, the Deadly Spectre has something to add. So, Talion can lure enemies and then execute them in a stealthy way from the group. However, the Deadly Spectre, which we know is the Bright Lord, will cause the Wraith within Talion to lie in wait and kill the investigating target once he approaches close enough. And even to the point where he will actually go through physical objects. Remember, Talion's uh, mortal. He's not ethereal, as we see the Wraith, and so he can actually go through um, walls and stuff. It's pretty cool. Now, there is a limitation. Let's say you're on a ledge and there's something blocking you. That's kind of what I mean. Not actual physical walls he could go through. So it is kind of like limiting in the sense that Talion, well, if he was trying to assassinate, he couldn't because there's something obstructing him. Well, with the Wraith, that's not so much a problem, but I don't believe it's so great as to go through walls. Well, at least not yet that I'm aware of. So just a side note there. However, what is awesome is that the Deadly Spectre lies in wait. Let me expound on that. So as he's waiting there, he literally separates from Talion's body, while the player may move Talion onto another position, onto another target, and in theory execute two orcs at once in stealth in quick succession or otherwise at the same time. Because what happens is the Celebrimbor, he's completely autonomous. And so theoretically, a player can form, perform another kill while a Celebrimbor demolishes the original target that you targeted and lured autonomously. So it's like you have two in one. The computer's killing for you, well, Celebrimbor more specifically, and then that's just pretty awesome. So for those that like stealth out there, I'm sure you'd like the Deadly Spectre. Uh, leave a comment below what you think maybe perhaps could be an improvement of that, if there is one. Speculate with me in the comments below. And then also, don't forget to check out the playlist List if you've missed some of the other episodes as we're on the countdown 50 day 50 we're going to bring you more tomorrow in which we're going to be talking about one of the most expanded and brand new features called weapons and gear and may i just say there's a lot a lot to talk about very awesome stuff and basically it's something that can make you godlike in cheat mode action if you rank it up enough and i'll tell you more about that in day 49 but for now enjoy some gameplay from shadow of more welcome back Sidekicks. As you heard in the last episode, we're going to gain some intel. And so, um, that's what we're doing right here. Gain some intel on some of these other, um, captains. That are bodyguards. And we'll start with this guy on the left. For starters. Oh, nice! This guy's looking sweet! I must say, I admire... The war paint is white and black. Mmm. Looking awesome. I have to say, I kind of like this guy possibly as a nemesis. He's pretty sweet looking. Alright, let's get some intel on the other guy, though. We got anyone else to um, get some intel on? Oh, here we go. No, it's out of range. Let's move up over here. 
Here we go. You can give me some intel, can't you? Alright, thanks so much for volunteering your brain services. Help me dial up a captain here for me. I'm really trying to reach out to him. There he is, right there. Wow, sweet. This guy's a bleeder, blood licker. <laughs> He's got a sweet name. And uh, nice, nice armor. Loving the head. Dude, this guy is also really awesome looking. I must say. All right, we'll dismiss you. But I can't decide who, which of the two I like more. Oh, hello there, Lethariel. Okay, so, hmm. Some intel a little deeper, but I'm not going to grab it. Because we do, for, do, in fact, have all the war chiefs revealed. Let's, hmm, this is tough. Shielder versus a blood licker. Man, this guy is nasty looking. I'm curious. I really want to gain intel on this guy. See what kind of abilities he has. I don't know. He would be kind of sweet as a follower, you know? I'm just... I don't know. I just think this guy is looking pretty mad crazy, dudes. Double axes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, what would he look as a war captain? I really want to see this guy rise up as a war chief. Let's do this. Let's gain some intel. It's worth it. And we're going to go find out what his abilities are and see if he's see if he's all tough like he looks. So this dude over here is puking. It's going to be the intel. <laughs> That's great. He's puking his guts out. Come on over here. Somebody sneaking around. Very good. Very good of you. Just come down here where no one else can see me uh, defile your face. All right. Let's gain some intel on this guy. Can't wait to see what he's all about. Blood liquor. Tell me what you're about, man. Oh, no. They're raising the alarm. That's my cue to leave. But I didn't get to look at his stats. Okay, here we go. He's got fear burning. Damage by combat finishers. Okay, so don't burn him. Becomes enraged when he's near another bleeder. He hates ghouls. Heavy attack damages. Body slam, and he's a gang leader. This dude could be an awesome, awesome follower, I must say. How can we make him rank up? The answer is to get him to kill this war chief. So to ensure that he does so, we also have this awesome guy... Of the two, we're going to have to decide. They're both awesome, and I'm really at a conundrum at what to do. Let me find some more intel. Beast Hunt now available. Oh, intel straight up right here. This is going to be nice. Oh, no, slave on the run. But now your blood's on the run. Thank you. Just give me some intel. I really need to find out which of these two war chiefs are uh, going to be awesome. All right. Tell me what you got, boy. Oh, dang it. I always do that. I press A too fast. All right. Um, oh, we got company. Still friend. Wah, 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 wah. What? Whoa, whoa, what happened Ranger, here? You have to help. My brother was speaking ill of the Dark Lord. He made the slave a fear. Oh no, the Dark Lord, blah, blah, blah. I don't really care. I want to look at this guy's stats. What is he all about? Okay, so he's vulnerable to stealth. That's not very great. He hates grogs. He hates burns. He has a charge attack, a ground pound, and a quick turn. Not bad. But you know what? I'm going to kill him. Because I really think heavy attack that cannot be countered, body slam, <laughs> it's just, and a gang leader. I just, I just feel like he's a potentially really powerful 
Very awesome looking. He could make, make a great follower. So, I'm going to take this guy out, although he is pretty stinking awesome as well. With his armor and his face mask. We're going to kill him, though. There's going to be more out there, more fish to fry. All right, so we've marked a target. Let's go see what we can do. If we can only fast travel to that, that would be great. But we can't, and the nearest one is probably this one. Let's move it up. Let's go kill that guy, and then see if we can't get our bro to be a follower right after we kill him. So that way, we, when we go to face this war chief, he can make the kill. And maybe become the next beastie. Ooh, a thousand or so feet. Oh, I can see it from here, though. Not too bad. I don't know, guys. I'm really curious what you're thinking. Leave a comment below what your thoughts are on these um, current dudes. I'm curious as to think... Uh, really kind of hear your thoughts on between the two. I don't even know their names. It's Blood Licker or um, Metal Mask Man here. Towards the Dark. Towards the Dark or... I don't even know how to say his name. Blood Licker though. Which is it going to be? Which is it going to be? Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear. Which of the two you guys think he, you know, is best? I'm going to go ahead and um, see if I can't make him a follower. You know what? Forget that. Screw it. Screw the comments. I can't wait. <laughs> I just realized by the time I record this episode, it's already too late. Oh, Intel? Okay, that's not going to work. Um... If I can kill them all, though, then it could work. Thank goodness. The results will kill you for looking. Our friends will reach up the hard way. There we go. Intel, you just wait, sir. You just wait. Thank you. All right. And um, again, some intel. I'm glad my friend didn't hit him there, because that would have been dumb of him. Okay, so intel up on... Oh, we could gain intel on him. That could be very powerful. What's the intel on this guy? What you got? Damage by explosions, damage by combat finishers. And he can smell us out, so that's, that's a little tough. Nothing we haven't done before. Um, okay. Give me back that. Okay, so back to the forge tower here. Yeah, so I'm thinking through that a little bit. He could be damaged by explosions, damaged by combat, ex combat uh, finishers. That's just pretty typical, I think. Not much to work with, but we will certainly get his captain's move over. Blood Licker, for example. Hopefully we can promote him up. I'm just I'm just feeling like Blood Licker's got some potential. Alright, fast travel unlocked. I must push away with light. So up in here is where this guy's at. I do remember that. So we're going to try to mark mark him and find him. If we can turn him into a follower, uh, we risk it. You know, we risk it. We risk it a biscuit. Currently beating a dead horse. Did you guys see that motive? Currently beating a dead horse. Or we could go with Bloodlicker feeling vexed about the recent ghoul sightings nearby. He's vexed. See, he's like, okay, maybe he's more of a worry wart. I don't know. He doesn't look that awesome after all. Okay, where are we at? Where are we at? Ah, uh, 
Um, blood liquor. There he is. The dark. Zork the dark. He's right there. Tools. He's, he's, okay, stealth? And he's right by this wall? This dude, seriously, is just asking for it. I mean, out of all, I could have stealth drained him, but... I don't know guys, maybe I made a bad mistake. I don't know. He was looking pretty sweet. But alright, alas, alas. We we're done. We could gain some more intel, but we've got one guy down. And let's go to Sauron's army and um, let's go find this guy. Oh, he's still here. He's in this area actually. Alright, fantastic. Let's go find him. He's uh, up in that place. Oh, what was that? Shadow strike? Oh, dag. Nab it. Okay, you're mine. You're mine as well. Oh, never mind. You're not mine. Okay, now you're mine. Uh, you two can die. Thank you. Ooh, it turned it blue. I don't know what that's supposed to do, but it turned it blue. And let the Karagors go wild, apparently. Let's let the Karagors go wild, shall we? Hey, dude. Oh, sorry, man. You just standing there? No. No. Oh, look who it is. A new guy. No, we don't want him. We don't want Forgroth. Karagors are letting loose. It's great. I'm going to make my way over to the left and see if I can't flank up some guys. There's some intel up in here. I think I'll grab that. He's also making quick work with those arrows. He's distracted. And I come in for a little bit of interrogation. Sorry, but I gotta pick your brain. Almost literally. <laughs> hey, looks like this last war chief has got two minions. Let's find out who this minion is right here. Hey, look who's back from the dead. At least he looks like it. Who's this? No, still that guy. Wait, I don't want him. Sauron's army, I'm looking for you. You, bro. He's further up. Further up on the corner. Still somewhere else. Still further up. Stealth. Brand. Let's go go to this guy by the fire, do a little stealth brand. Hey, I was going to do a stealth brand on you, but it looks like I have to drain your brain. There we go. Okay, now we're in the area. Maybe we can see him. No, no, no. Wait, there's two. Oh, 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 here he is. Here he is. No, no, no. Okay, just it's moving around glitchy like. Okay, forget that. We jump up here, brand this archer. There you go, go free. You might be able to assist me, sir. Aha! There he is, Uga Kuga. Yes, now. I like it. And he becomes in. He becomes enraged when he near. Ukram the Bleeder. So what would be awesome is if we could find Ukram the Bleeder. Is this the guy over here? No, that's a gorger. Trainer. Cave rat. Skullcracker. Metal beater. Swordmaster. Looking for the Bleeder. Oh, here he is. 
It becomes enraged around him. We're going to have to go change this guy to our team. We're going to have to send him with us because he becomes enraged and that makes it even more powerful. We're going to have to go. We're going to have to go check him out. But right now, we got to change him to our follower. We're jumping the gun on this. We got two war chiefs in this place. We got Karagors. We could uh, let loose. I think. Whoa. That wasn't planned. Okay, so we got Karagors. Let loose a Karagor or two. I don't know if there's two Karagors or not. But the Karagors have begun the madness. Maybe I can do a little. Yeah. Swing across. They'll never see me. Move on past this guy. We'll do a little distraction action. Okay. Very good. We're making some progress in Mundo. But we got a lot of baddies in here. Oh, and someone's raising the alarm. Couldn't stop that from happening. So, guys, let's talk about this, shall we? Um, there's a lot of stinking followers. I'm a little concerned about that. Let's see if we can pull them over here. Yes. Quiet in him. That's what I says about you. <laughs> His voice. To me to stop you. Yes. His voice is horrible. Maybe we made the worst mistake of all time. I don't know. One thing's for sure, though. He's got a lot of buddies. Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to execute Tor him. Execute Tor him. Execute Tor everyone. Okay, we're going to get this guy. We're going to make him a follower. We're going to make him a follower. He's going to be a friend. He's going to be a friend until the end. Okay, there we go. Quite a nice little bit of move. Oh, look at him! Body slamming! That was so intense! That was awesome! That was a fantastic move, bro. I love that body slam. Wait, where'd my sound go? My sound is missing, strangely. It's kind of missing somewhere. Whoa! What a sweet move! No, sweet. no, 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 no! Oh, I could smell you bleeding from a mile away. Dang. The sweet iron tang gets my blood up. Oh yes! Fantastic! Wow! Reinforcements done, been brought. Let's get to the shield door, dude. Here. Oh! There we go, Brandon. Come on, bros and does. We need assistance. We got a couple of captains, but we need to. Uh, oh, 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 he's gonna go madhouse on us. No, he didn't like that. Oh, wow, Wowzer, Bowser. Let's change him to our side. This is getting. Getting some help. Whoa! No! Oh, he's on fire! Okay. Okay, so the assassin is retreating. This is not how it's supposed to be! Next time you will be mine! Okay. Well, that's fine. My target is this guy. Stealth Brand. Come on. Come on. Can't. Oh, combat drain. Okay, we'll just do that. Yes, he's ours. He's gonna be ours. He's gonna be ours. Alright, he's ours. Fantastic. 
And, oh, he's gotten away on us. All right, here's the bottom line, dude. You're going to come into this fight. It's going to be great. Oh, he escaped. Okay. All right, so now that he's ours, I'm so excited. You did that body slam. And it was, it was amazing. It was just so amazing. I really liked that body slam. So I have to ask you a question. Can you become the war chief? That is the question. I need you to betray your war chief. Okay? Can you do it? Well, apparently he's not going to go do that. So, mm-hmm. But here's what we're going to do. And tell on him the bleeder. All right. Dismiss. You're dismissed. Go on your way. Um, I'll catch you in the next battle. Wait a second, you fool. Okay. So there's another captain dude over there, but I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode as it is right now. We're going to make the leap of faith here. Get on out of here. And uh, thanks again for watching, guys. We got ourselves the Blood Licker. And we're going to try to make him even more powerful by bringing his friend and comrade with him. Um, the guy that makes him enraged. We're going to try to find him in the next episode. Make him even more uh, superbulous. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, eventful for sure. And um, I hope you enjoyed it because we're going to bring more content to you tomorrow. So hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified. And join in that playlist because daily content's coming your way. Thanks again for watching. This is Hero 87, your host, signing off. Later, sidekicks.